Hello, everybody. Welcome in for another episode of Ball Club Confidential, brought to you by our great friends at Knoxville Smiles. I'm your host, Austin Price. Coming up tonight on the show, big number eight, Nico Ialmaliava. But before we get to Nico, we bring in Sheridan Gannon of the Volunteer Club. At the Orange and White game just over a week ago, obviously the lays were out in full force, uh, inspired and designed by the Yamaliava family. Yes, it was awesome. So we have gifted all of our current members uh, Nico Lay, so the traditional orange and white one. So we encouraged everybody to wear it to the spring game, show out, and they did not disappoint. So it was really cool to see everybody at our tailgate and in the stadium wearing it. And then we also are giving them away to all new members that join. So all of All Nation can partake. And then, of course, at the spring game, you also had the coach for the day, um, you know, kind of fundraiser. And, and that turned out really well, if, you know, for that individual who got to, you know, kind of, you know, be a coach for a day, had to get the full dress up of what the coaches were wearing, got to ride the bus to the stadium and all that stuff. Yeah, so uh, he got to ride the bus from Anderson all the way over to the Vol Walk and participate in that, which that alone to me is, yeah, like, really neat, is yeah. like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So on top of that, they got to have, you know, pregame and uh, on-field access during the game, be a coach, really, really cool, you know, kind of day in the life. She is Sheridan Gannon. She's rocking those nice glasses. We like those. Now more from our friends at Knoxville Smiles. The folks at Knoxville Smiles would like to invite you to visit their website at KnoxvilleSmiles.com to meet their amazing team and learn about their incredible services they provide in their state-of-the-art facility. Nico, uh, obviously you got a fantastic story, just kind of how you've grown and, 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 you know, become a, you know, from a volleyball kid to a football recruit to the number one player in the country to now on the cusp of your first year as a starter at Tennessee. When did you? When do you believe your story started, though? Like, was there a moment in time from an athletic standpoint you're like, I just love playing sports? Yeah, I think I think that was from a very young age. Uh, you know, just playing. My dad got us and me and my brothers into sports at a young age. So I thought, you know, all the work that we put in, um, it was a journey and. Uh, yeah, it really led us to, you know, where we are right now. So I think pretty much from a young age, I've always had this dream. What's your best memory from, like, playing sports as a kid? Like, you know, is there, like, that core memory where you're like, man, we won the championship when I was 10 yeah. or whatever, you know what I mean? I think just playing rugby um, with rugby. my little brother. Um, we had a stacked team. Uh, a lot of the, the kids from my, my team are all, like, uh, they're at, you know, big-time college schools playing football now. So I think, you know, uh, that that was one of the funnest memories was, I think when I was 10, our 10 year year, um, we didn't lose a game. We pretty much went undefeated that year. So I think that was pretty much a, probably a core memory that I had as a young kid. And, uh, you know, taking uh, trips to Florida every year with my uh, football teams uh, when we were younger, uh, I enjoyed that. So, yeah, pretty much all, the, all those times in, uh, in football and rugby. Rugby, volleyball, you've got some different sports that, you know, I guess most people think football, basketball, baseball, right? Like yeah. You're, you're kind of, you've kind of played some different stuff growing up. Um, what did you enjoy about that? I think everything was fun, man. Um, I enjoyed it. I think, you know, volleyball, all my sisters played it, so that got us right into it. Uh, rugby was different for us. Uh, my, my grandpa was a big-time rugby player, so it was a – you know, we played rugby because of him, and then, you know, football, my dad played it, so – I think you know just the the amount of sports playing as a as a kid was was fun and just playing with your brothers and, and cousins was fun too. So. The volleyball side of things, yeah. Like, it, 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 football became more of a you know I guess your path, right? Volleyball mm-hmm. was that more fun just because it was different? Yeah, yeah. I think I think it was just an, another sport to play, and uh, I enjoyed it. And you know, over time, I got good at it. So yeah, it was it was never really part of the plan, but it was something I, I did enjoy. Do you ever play pick up volleyball anymore? I mean, yeah, you know, no. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, yeah. Like all the, I, mean, I don't know how many people have come in here and said they go play, you know, basketball at the T Rex uh-huh. and they always go, don't tell Coach Yeah, Heibel. yeah, Coach Hype going to get I ain't played too much pick up volleyball. I think the last time I played uh, was with the team, probably Orange Bowl, Miami. Yeah. That was probably the last time I really played. So it's been a while. I mean, other than the, the other times I played with my family back at home. So it's been, it's been a while. Now, when you did that, was that more of like a laid back? Or did you ever kind of go? Yeah, <laughs> set that thing up there for me. No, I think I think it was more uh, laid back. It was like me, James Pierce, and we were going against like Gaston Moore, Navy. 
So I think so Joe was on. That the is other such team. a mismatch just in size. Yeah, yeah. So it was, it was, it was a cool game. I wasn't trying at first, and then James Pierce started getting mad at me, and he was talking about, "I thought you played volleyball. I thought you played volleyball." So I, was, I started taking a little bit more serious at the end, but we ended up losing all of them. So, uh, yeah, but it, it was good times out there in Miami. What have you enjoyed most about your first year on campus? Everything, man. I think Tennessee is a beautiful place, man. Um, you know, campus itself is beautiful. Um, I think just waking up, going to the facility is, you know, I'm blessed to do that. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, everything, um, the people around the facility uh, are great people. Um, you know, we get good good food from Smokies downstairs. So, you know, I couldn't ask for more. And, um, yeah, you know, I'm, ble- I'm blessed to be in this position. You go back to your commitment video and, and, and you talk about, you know, you, you wanted me and you got me. The things you fell in love with as a recruit, still finding that you fall in love with them as a as a as a player. Yeah, man. Uh, you know everything that you know I was looking at when I was getting recruited is still the same. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm glad to be in this position I'm in. So, I know when you met with the media, you know earlier this spring, you said you know last year I prepared as if I was the starter, even though you know Joe was the guy. Yes, sir. But does it feel different? going to the practice field now because everybody's looking at you yeah. you know like, whereas yeah. joe was there before like there's no there's nobody i mean like, yeah. it's you, I yeah. mean, you the, the eyeballs are different uh like i said um uh, i wouldn't look at it too much different man it, it's definitely a different feeling knowing that you're the starter and um you're the ones uh you know it's different hearing ones and i'm in there so uh but you know i've, I've expected that um I, like i said the last year was a great year for me to learn under joe um you know, learn how to operate, learn how to how to be be a one. So, um, yeah, this year I just I just took it this year um, in the off season. You know, being prepared for that moment, and um, yeah, you know, I'm excited. You go back to that bowl game, and you know, obviously you played well. You had several touchdowns. Um, but where did you walk back and go when you got back to Knoxville and go? I could have done this better, that better, and all of a sudden it's just different, right? I mean, like, could, could you self critique pretty well? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, that that's always what I'm looking for after games is, you know, self critiquing. Um and, and yeah, you know, uh we left a I'd say we left a lot of more points out there that, you know, should have been we should have we should have scored that I should have connected on. Um but uh, you know, that comes with, you know, growth. I think I I'll grow a lot from that game. Um, you know, I just learned a lot about myself and, you know, learning what I need to work on more and more, um, from that game. So yeah, I, I was I was I was blessed to uh, be in that position to play that game, and uh, yeah, I'm glad that uh, I could look back at that game and know what I need to work on. I look around this spring, and I feel like you got a bunch of new flashy toys to throw to. I mean, oh yeah, <laughs> Brazel Dante looks like he's way more yeah. just comfortable outside yes, this year. Yeah. Um, Matthews and Staley, mm-hmm. Brew will be back soon. I mean, yep. does it kind of excite you to kind of see that wide receiver sure. room because it does look different, different than the team that you played with in the bowl game. Yeah, definitely, man. We got a lot of depth in the receiver room. Uh, I think all of them have, uh, have done a great job. You know, Caleb and Chaz, you know, coming along, they've, they've done great in this spring. So, uh, yeah, I've said the whole receiving room, um, you know, I say me, Gaston, and, uh, you know, Jake and all the, the whole QB room were excited to go out there and uh, throw with those guys. What is it you like most about the offense? Everything, man. I think um, we're not your typical offense, so, you know, it's a little different. And, you know, I love different. Um, I think our tempo – uh, can can play with a lot of teams, and you know we can use that in our advantage as long as we stay on that tempo. Um, you know I like how we're able to slow it down too when we need to, and you know Coach Joy, you know dial up a play, and you know we're able to go out there and execute. So I think the offense just you know we have a lot um, a lot just to show. You know with Dylan Sampson going out there and lining up an empty. I just I think we got a lot of tools that we can use to our advantage, and you know I'm excited for this season. Where do you feel like you excel in the offense? Like for you personally, what do you feel like you bring? What do I feel like I bring? Uh, so just a playmaker, man. Um, you know, if the play doesn't go right, I think I'm able to go out there and extend plays well. Um, you know, on the scramble, find my receivers downfield. Um, I think just you know keeping plays alive when you know they when they can stay alive and um, yeah, I think we got a, a good team to go out there and do that. So, who motivates you? Like, what drives you? you know, to, to be great. Yeah, I say my family, man. Um, you know, my dad, I think, you know, just my dad and my mom, uh, you know, they put us in the best position uh, to be successful and, you know, it's hard on us to go and, you know, pay off their dues. So uh, I think, you know, my family keeps me going. Um, my siblings, 
you know, they look up to me. And uh, I have a younger brother. <laughs> He's getting ready to go to college. So, yeah, man, I think, you know, just my family and um, knowing that I can, you know, put food on the table for them using football as a tool is a, is a great feeling. So, yeah, now you're a family. You're one of how many kids? One of eight. <laughs> one of eight. Yes, sir. And you're the next to last one, right? Uh yeah no 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 there's a younger sister yeah, that's yeah, right yeah, yeah yeah so I'm the third out of eight out of eight and uh, yeah there's four younger girls under me, under me and I got an older sister and then you know two brothers so what's that like I mean like when when you're one of that many like, it's <coughs> not like there's three and you're the middle or the yeah. oldest or the youngest I mean you know there's, there's quite a few of you but like what, what's that what's that dynamic like around the Thanksgiving table or around just mm-hmm. around the dinner table uh, yeah just hanging out. It's great, man. Uh, great feeling, uh, you know, just to be around my family, my loved ones. Um, love breaking bread with my loved ones. So, yeah, I, I think it's a great feeling. The house will always be loud. Um, every time I go back home, I know that. So, yeah, I just it's a great feeling having that many siblings, and you know, just being around them is is enjoyable. So, who controls the TV or TVs in the house? With out of that TV. many people, <laughs> if like you know what I mean? Like if you sit down, yeah, who's, yeah, yeah. who's who's dictating what's on? I mean, if my if my dad's there, he 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 got the remote for Big sure. Big Nick, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, he got the remote. But uh, yeah, if I'm there, my older brother's a he's a little bit more lenient with me, so he'll let me have it if I want it. Uh, I pretty much say I control the TV if I'm there. There, so yeah. Your mom, she seems like such a special lady. Yeah. Just in being around her, she's always got a big hug, always got a big smile on her face. Just yeah. just seems like she just enjoys everything. What's she mean to you? Everything, man. Um. You know, she made a lot of sacrifices, like I said, for us to be here. And, uh, yeah, man, I love my mom so much. And, uh, you know, I'm glad she stayed here with us. She she, she fought a, uh, she had a hard fight with cancer. So, you know, just her being able to be um, overcome that and uh, be here to see me. Um, you know, just her son play out his dreams. And, um, yeah, I, I love my mom. So, yeah, she means everything. Watching her go through that, did that make you grow up a little quicker? Just because, I mean, like, you know what I mean? Because there's, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a reality to, to cancer. And to watch her go through that Dude. and to fight it, you know, and now, you know, seems like she's doing really well. What, For sure. What, did that make you kind of grow up a little quicker than maybe you wanted to? No, not that I wanted to. Uh, you know, when she got it, uh, you know, she told my dad and me, uh, you know, to continue what we were doing. Uh, continue grinding and um yeah i was just i was just glad that you know she she's still with with us uh here today um but yeah no i i wouldn't say uh made me grow up fast it just made me you know realize that life is short yep. um and you know you gotta you gotta cherish your loved ones while, while they're still here and uh you know just appreciate life for what it is so so the first time you came out on a visit it was, yeah. it was mad and you and, and, and your dad yes sir and then you know, she she finally gets to come out. When you were able to kind of show her mm-hmm. what you all had kind of found and yeah. saw in Tennessee, and then she kind of was like, man, this place is great. Yeah. Like, yeah. how much peace of mind did that give? Because I know that, that she's so important to the decision yeah. part of the process. Yeah, like I said, uh, you know, my mom broke down, uh, you know, coming up here in Tennessee. She broke down in the, uh, in the basketball stadium. And, yeah, it was, it was just a, a cool moment for me to uh, see her like that and, uh yeah, you know, pretty much when she when she told me that, you know, this was a spot, you know, I was, I was sold on that, and uh, yeah, we made we made a great decision. So, Tennessee fans, thanks to mom. Yes, sir. Um, what? Uh, who do you kind of try to emulate your game after? Like when you're watching quarterbacks play, yeah. Who do you enjoy watching play, and who do you try to take from? Yeah, there's a lot of quarterbacks, man. Um, I can name so many, uh, you know, just guys that I've watched from, you know, young growing up would be like guys like Bryce Young, uh, C.J. Stroud. I had a, you know, great, a great freshman year just growing up. I had, you know, D.J., Bryce, and C.J. Stroud, you know, uh, three top quarterbacks in California. So it was uh, those three quarterbacks for, for me growing up watching. I try to emulate my game after Bryce a lot. You know, just his, with his drops and how he sees the field and is able to extend plays and scramble. So I say Bryce and then um, going to the league, Lamar Jackson's a fun guy that I love to watch. Um, I w- he could have beat Kansas City, man. If he if, if he if he kept his game, I think they would have beat Kansas City. So, uh, but Lamar Jackson's a quarterback I love. Uh, Josh Allen and 
Tom Brady, obviously, he's a True. goat. That, that, that's that's the goat right there. But you know, I think those two guys running around is who I've been watching. And uh, Patrick Mahomes, man, he 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 plays the game so different. So he plays the game in slow mo. When I when I went up to the Super Bowl, I, I got to see him um, up up and close. And yeah, I, I try to take you know a little piece of his game too. So now you're a big 49ers fan. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you're a SoCal. Guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where does that come from? What? What? Why 49ers versus? Yeah, one of the SoCal teams. Yeah, um, when we were young, man, uh, that was just you know my dad, who he's preached that that you know we were gonna be Niner fans. He and, grew up when the Niners yeah, were the Niners. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. So Joe yeah. Montana, yes, uh -huh. yes, sir. So you know Jesse Sapolu was really what made my dad a Niner fan. Him being uh, one of the first Samoans, you know, to play for that team. So Jesse Sapolu played a big part, and then you know it pretty much just trickled down to the whole fam and. Uh, yeah, it's so crazy because my dad's brother, he's a cowboy fan. So oh, every time man. we had these Niner Cowboy <laughs> games, it'd be crazy. So, yeah, but, yeah, we're big Niner fans. Madden 2? Madden 2. Yeah. I've, always, I've talked to you about this. I've never have talked yeah, to Madden yeah. Oh, about yeah. Madden, who Madden he cheers sure. for. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir, he a Niner fan. What's that, what's that relationship like between you two? Because it, it's never felt like super competitive to me. Not that you guys don't yeah. compete, but like, <laughs> it, it, you know, it almost like seems like, you know, you guys are just really close. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not like this, like, budding rivalry mm -hmm. you know a couple of years apart it seems like you guys are just genuinely like really tight yeah yeah man that's my my guy man man and uh i don't think you know we're obviously competitive i think we always have fights on the video games and stuff like that but, that's uh, different yeah i think uh on the field i think madden was a you know a sponge to me just trying to see how i play and he was he was uh late switching over you know he was a linebacker receiver so he didn't really play quarterback um, at all through his youth age so he started his freshman year so you know Madden was just trying to learn as much as he could I'm sure now his senior year uh, going into his senior year uh, I'll still be out throwing him at, at, at football workouts and stuff but like he doesn't I think he just he's more on the side of just trying to learn from me so it never gets really like that now they want to stay title last year right no, they oh, lost they lose in the, the championship, championship game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they made still, it there. He, they made still, it there he can still go he can, get yeah, that, have that over your that. head. He, he can hold that over my head. He can't. He did bring one a uh, good championship. So, I mean, I hope he did, I hope he gets it done. I know he can go get it done. So, I'm excited to see him work his senior year, too. Yeah, I knew, he, I knew he got there. I never knew if he won it or not. Nah, yeah, he got there, man. And, uh, That's an accomplishment of his own right yeah, in California. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, he had a great junior year, though. Great junior year. What makes you smile? Say again. What makes you smile? What makes me smile? Uh, I think <laughs> I smile a lot. Anyways, um, you know, I try and crack jokes up with the guys in the locker room. I think, I think, you know, smiles, smiling is good for you know the world. What you, what you, what is there to be mad about? So, yeah, I think I smile often. All right, we're brought to you by our great friends at Knoxville Smiles. Now let's learn more <laughs> about them. Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Malone. You know, people ask me all the time about digital technology and how it affects dentistry. We'd like to show you what that means here in the office. So dentists used to have technicians that they worked with everything analog. Today we do it all digital. Also, digital technology helps us with clear aligners so we can straighten your teeth here in the office. If we can help you with your dental needs, look us up at KnoxvilleSmiles.com. All right, let's get right into it. LeBron or Jordan? LeBron or Jordan? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go LeBron. I think just if you put LeBron versus MJ in a one on one, I think you know it's easy to see who's gonna come out on top. And then if y'all want to compare rings, I think LeBron's four rings was harder than Jordan's six rings. I think LeBron played a lot more, you know, legends, Hall of Famers, than, than Jordan did. You know. He was in, you know, in a, the old times. What would Big Nick say to this argument? I think my dad would agree with me. I'm gonna. Have I'm to not gonna lie. Him. I think my dad would agree with me. I mean, I mean, LeBron. He has the he has all all time points. Points, yeah. His longevity. You know what I'm yeah. Longevity. He out here 39. We about to go out there and win the finals again this year for probably one of his last year. So, you know, I think LeBron. Hold LeBron on. So you, wait, wait. Let's go back. You're a Lakers guy. Yeah, of course. You, you, so you're not sticking with your Northern Cal teams for the NBA. No, no, no. Yeah, you know, the the Warriors are pretty good. Golden State, yeah, for sure. If they if if we were to lose and they were still in it, I would vote for Golden State for sure. But right now it's, it's the Lakers. Yeah. 
Were you a Kobe guy growing up? Kobe guy, big Kobe guy. Yeah, that's really that's really my goat. Kobe really. There you go. Say you could have added him. I, yeah. I know I said LeBron, but people. I mean, heck, Coach Garner, he had a doctor, Julius Irving. Who did, who, okay, Julius Irving. <laughs> Doctor J. See, that's a little that's a little too far back for me. I'll be uh, I'll be using him in two K sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's never too far back. Who's who's your favorite old? I'm gonna say old school because when I asked you old about like, who you emulate your game after, you went with guys that are just a couple years older. Yeah, than yeah, you. yeah. Old school quarterbacks that you like to watch. So you said Brady. Yeah. Who else? Aaron Rodgers. Is that does that? Count no, that counts. I mean, Aaron Rodgers forty. Okay. okay. Like yeah, that's yeah. you know. Okay. Yeah, Aaron he's Rodgers. He's twenty years older yeah. than you are. He he was definitely like one of the first NFL quarterbacks that I really try to watch and emulate my game after. And you know, just him being from California makes it even better. So him, Tom, Josh Allen, I think. So you know what all those guys have in common <laughs> that I think make that makes sense why you like them. You're a quarterback that can run, not yeah. a running quarterback. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. And all those guys, like yeah. Aaron Rodgers, could make plays yeah. with his legs. For sure. You know, same thing with Josh Allen. But those guys ultimately want to throw first, mm-hmm. right? Yes, sir. I would venture to say that's kind of how you are. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm trying to trying to let it rip uh, downfield. So, yeah, definitely. I'm definitely a run, run, run second guy. You wear number eight. Yeah. Why? Uh, for a lot of reasons. Um. Kobe, Kobe's one of them. Um, there's seven of us, or you know, I got You're eight, eight yeah. kids, so that means uh, for that too. Marcus Mariota is one of my favorite quarterbacks. Yeah, it makes in sense. College, so there's a plenty of reasons why you know I wear eight, but uh, you know ultimately it was because I got seven siblings, and you know there's eight of us. So, what's a fair rating for you on this new NCAA game? Fair rating. For what's me? What's a fair rating? Yeah. Um, I've had some kids come in here. Chris Brazel says like seventy eight to eighty two. I think that's really fair. Yeah, Lance Heard says ninety five, and I'm like, okay. I'm like, that seems pretty high. <laughs> okay, I'll probably say uh, eighty five. They'll give me. I'll probably say eighty five. You'd be happy with that though. Yeah, You'd I'll be, be cool okay with that. with that. Yeah, there's obviously you know as the and then season you can go goes in and on. bump your ratings up in the yeah. dynasty mode for sure. No, or <laughs> you know as the season goes on, hopefully they got like updated they updates. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel so, you. So you know we'll see. I, are you kind of excited for that? Like, yeah, you know, definitely. Uh, I think NCAA. I, I always played NCAA fourteen. Uh, you know, back when that was out, and then they stopped bringing the games out. So, uh, I'm definitely excited, and you know, just to you know be able to have a chance to be in the game is cool. So, when you play in Madden, I assume you just play Forty mm-hmm. Nine ers, right? Do you ever play with anybody else? Yeah, I play with my dog Hendo uh, with Detroit. I okay, play, I play with a lot of guys. Uh, you know, a lot of guys from Tennessee that we got uh, in the league. Um, yeah, there's a couple of teams I use. Uh, so. Greatest 49er of all time. I'm greatest 49er of all time. I think we got to go Joe Montana, I think. Yeah, it's the only fair answer, I think. Or just I probably, one of them. But Joe Montana, Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice is up there. Um, and, you know, hopefully, you know, this new generation of my team can bring a Super Bowl so they can, you know, put their name up there. All right, we know the Polynesian heritage is big to you. Yeah, Polynesians also big into WWE. Mm-hmm. Remember the first time you came here, I said, you know that yeah, yeah. the mayor of Knoxville is Kane. Yeah, uh, you know, who's your favorite WWE guy? Roman Reigns for sure. I think I was Roman Reigns for for Halloween when I was about like eight or some. Uh, me and my brother and my cousin, uh, we was the Shield. So I think I've always been a Roman Reigns guy. So Roman Reigns definitely my. One of my favorite wrestlers. Joe, you know, always had the Superman when he would go in and score. Who, who did? Oh, yeah, Joe. Joe. What if you do the Tribal Chief? Acknowledge. What is it? I haven't been watching WWE lately. That's, I know that's, I that's heard Roman about Reigns him being the Tribal after. Chief. Yeah. But he does, a, he does it, something. It, yeah, he's Acknowledge Me. He puts up the one finger. Okay. That, that, that's that's what you should I do. I think that, that might be his thing. I think I might just just get the ball back to the ref. <laughs> Let's see. You're such a nice kid. Let's like, see. Like, <laughs> We'll we see. If, joke I'm, if, I'm, about if I'm hyped, though, if I'm hyped, we'll see. We'll see what celebration come out. But yeah, it's, it's a long way down the road. Do so you didn't give any thought to that? Like, because I mean, like in the bowl game, yeah. you, you were kind of excited. You're like, "Woo! Here, here's the ball." Yeah, and you're back to I, the- I don't know. I just I've never been a a celebration guy. I don't. Maybe I'd be too tired after where I just don't feel like celebrating, or I'm not really thinking about celebrating. I'm just probably thinking about going to celebrate with my teammates. So I've never really put that into a celebration. Obviously, Joe, I think having Joe last year, he always wanted me to have a celebration, but I never really had one. What's the last time you cut your hair? Last time I cut my hair, shoot, 
I'd probably say like fourth grade. Fourth grade. It's been a while. Even trim? Oh, no. I, I, you I get a trim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I get trim. Yeah. If I, I would have known the podcast, I, I, didn't, I didn't know about the podcast. I would have got my hair done again, but no, nah, I ain't getting it. How often, do we, how often do we braid it? Uh, Once every two weeks or a week and a half. Once every week and a half. So is this is this someone you found in Knoxville that does it? Yes, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is... Found someone in Knoxville. Yeah. Do we want to give them a shout out for, for, for yeah, coming she, to Yeah, she, she, she works at a, a, a some, some shop down here in Knoxville, but yeah, shout out her. She keeps you looking fresh and clean. For sure, yep. Obviously, when I go back home, I'll get right with my auntie, but for the, for the time being, when I'm in Knoxville, sir. What do you miss most about California? California. I think everything, man. <laughs> I think, you know, California's just, it's just a little bit different than Knoxville. Um, just driving around, seeing <laughs> seeing stuff. Seeing stuff out here is kind of different than California. Uh, my family just being back there. It's a lot of things that's. That's just different um, that I enjoy back at home. But what food do you miss most? I think just having the 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 variety of options to to pick from. I think you know ramen. We got like ramen hubs out there. We got spam musubi spots out there. Chicken katsu. So I think it's just California. We just got a lot of different spots. So I think that's what I miss most about it. The Polynesian Bowl. You played in that, and obviously, you know. I think that one holds a special place to you just because of the heritage and stuff. Yeah. Um, what did you enjoy most about that week? I think just seeing more of my culture was 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 big for me, um, and you know, enjoying it with a lot of the other top athletes in the country, and um, yeah, just linking up with you know a couple of the guys that I, I never met until I, I I got to the bowl, and um, yeah, man, I had a had a blast out there. Just being with that many, I just stacked O line, man. I had Francis on my O line, so it was just a, a a great experience to have for me. So yeah, Mike goes out there this past year. He gets the offensive MVP. Oh he yeah, back to back years. Yeah, tennis. Yeah, you gotta get somebody tennis to keep that going. Yeah, make we it got back to, to back. We got to somebody in that class for sure. What game are you looking forward to most this year? What game? Oh, there's a lot of games, man. Um, probably have to say. <clears throat> Probably going to Athens, I think, is one of one of one of the biggest games that I got got on my mind. Um, that'll be a fun one for sure. Do you like the road environments more? I mean, like I know you've not necessarily started a road game, but yeah. I mean, do do you kind of like was it was that in high school you like to go on the road more than play at home? Yeah, in high school I was a big I was a big guy. I loved going on the road. I think and uh, I think that carried over to college for sure. Obviously, you know you have your disadvantages, but I think. Going into, you know, somebody else's house and, you know, winning the game there is much more enjoyable than, you know, taking care of business at home. Obviously, I do I do love the home games, but I do I do love going on the road, too. Well, this first month of the season is going to be interesting because you got the neutral site game with yeah. NC State and Charlotte, yes, and then sir. you go at Oklahoma mm -hmm. by a week at Arkansas. So yep. you're going to have a bunch of, you know, road games yep. early before you kind of hit that home schedule with Florida and Alabama in yep. October. So. Mr. I like road games will get an opportunity yes, for that. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> if you had, if you got to pick the play call for the first game of the year, first play, are you handing it off or are we taking a shot? First play of the year? Shoot. Me, I'd, I'd probably like to throw it. Um, but, if, you know, coach calls it a run and, you know, that's what it is. But I'd probably say a shot, shot to open up the year would, would be cool. And if we hit, we hit. So it's Coach Happel cool. doesn't run a lot of trick plays. But, you know, like you go back to, like, when Dobbs is here, like, you know, Dobbs caught touchdown passes. Yeah, He's caught a yeah, couple of them. Yeah. Are we advocating for that? Shoot. Uh, I think I think spreading the love with the other guys that need to catch the ball is cool. A little, a little Philly special <laughs> yeah, yeah, if we back get to one, you? If we get a Philly special, that would be cool too, man. We'll Philly see, special though. back to Nico yeah, for the yeah, touchdown? For the tub, we'll see. I think – I don't know if our receivers could throw, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's through the whole wide receiver room under the bus. Nah, um, I just I ain't seen I ain't seen none of them none of them throw the ball yet. So, surely one of them played some type of quarterback in high school. That normally happens. I don't know. Maybe Chaz. No, I don't know if he played quarterback. Yeah, I don't know. Favorite uniform combination? I think I like all white, all white, or all black, but all white. So you like stormtroopers? 
Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Stormtroopers? Like yeah. like Star Wars. Okay. Yeah, I'm all white. I'm all, I like all white. Disneyland? You big Disneyland guy? No. No not. theme park guy? I like I like the Universal, Universal Studios. Yeah, okay. For sure. What, what do you like at Universal? I like all the rides. Uh, I don't like sitting in line, so next time I'll go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the pass, but... I think uh, nobody that, likes standing in line. Yeah, <laughs> no, nah, it was a lot of cool stuff in there. I got to see like Harry Potter stuff, uh, the Simpsons stuff. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. What's something most people don't know about Nico Yamaliava? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a chill guy. I think. I think most people know you're a chill guy. Okay. Uh, like, sure. what interests do you have? Like, what? Like, you yeah, know? Uh, I like playing video games. Like chilling, like watching TV. Um, like watching football. I think I'll say I'm your ordinary kid. <laughs> uh, I don't, I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, I'm a big video game guy, though, so if anybody need that on video games, let me know. Who's the better ball slash lady ball, you or your cousin Zeta? I think she, she is for sure. Zeta. Bigger impact thus far. Yeah, for sure. She out there hitting catch her. You got to catch her. Yeah, I'm going to catch her, though. We're going to see, yeah. Who can, could she throw a football better or you hit a softball better? I think she could throw a football. Back. I agree. You got no yeah, shot I, hitting the softball. Yeah, that's a, that, a, that's one of the tough, toughest things there are. I had a tough, tough take last year in last year's softball game, but <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna try and fix that this year. <laughs> yeah. So you're telling me that you whiffed? I did whiff. I mean, it just Most sucks that we don't, we only get one hit, like only one, one try, only one try, one like, swing, or yeah, just or no, one, one bat. No, only one swing. Like, like if you give me like if you give me one strike. Then the second one, I'm a hit. For I would sure. say most people don't hit it then. Yeah, exactly. Like we had a like, it was the players versus coaches. Some of the coaches were cheating. They got like two hits, so like it really wasn't fair. But they won that game. But this year it's gonna hopefully it's different. That's why you got to get with her. You got to start practicing. I know. I've been I've been practicing. We've been we've been going catching a little bit. I could catch a little bit better than than before, for sure. We make a call. Get Monica Abbott. Have her come in here and throw against the coaches, but only to the coaches. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. But yeah, she need to be on my team next summer again, for sure. <laughs> What's one place that you've never been you'd like to go to? Never been I'd like to go to. New York. I think New York. You've never been to New York? Never been to New York. That'd be, let us spend a Christmas down there one year if we're not in bowl prep practice. Well, I would say the next two years you yeah, should be in bowl so practice. So probably yeah. in three years, spend a Christmas out there. We'll see. <laughs> But I definitely want to. By that point, you'll be at the NFL. And you'll get to go there to play so a game. I'll, I'll find time in December when it's snowing to spend a, to spend. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a make it a Christmas day when I go out there for sure. Favorite movie? Home Alone or Rush Hour. Home Alone 2, which is in New York, or just Home Alone? Home Alone 2. But I like I like both of them. But I'm going to go Home Alone 2 just because that, that's really what inspired me to go to New York for Christmas. I'm not going to lie. You want to go by yourself? No. I'm a, I'm a, obviously I'm gonna I'm I'm take all the family out there. I'm gonna take everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you want to go when you go there? Like, what do you want to see? I want to stay at the top of a penthouse over everything, like the tallest building, to where I can see over everything. And then I just want to see. I want to have a Christmas tree next to my window yeah. to where I can see everything. And then just just see the snow, lay back, chill. Christmas is that, the, is that the best holiday? Is that your favorite holiday? Yes, yes, sir. Christmas is is my favorite holiday. I love Christmas. Best Christmas gift you ever got? Best Christmas gift I ever got would probably be. And how old were you when you got it? Shoot, I probably stopped getting gifts at like eleven. I'm not gonna lie. So I probably got like an Xbox when I was like younger. Yeah. Yeah. After that, my dad would like he would he would play jokes with us and give us like he would just make jokes he would be like uh your, your christmas present is the roof of your head the, the the water in your in your house the food on your table so but i've enjoyed christmas that's my favorite holiday for sure chocolate or vanilla i think i like both i don't know so you're telling me if you went and got a like a like a, a cone of ice cream you get like a swirl cone mm-hmm. i'll probably get chocolate and vanilla yeah <laughs> Let's flip it back to football before we get out the door. What uh, 
what's your goal? I mean, not every team's goal is to win championships, but like in, in a perfect world, kind of how to take them through this season. What 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 do you want to accomplish? What do you want to see happen? How do you do it? Yeah, I think um, the main goal here is to you know for me is to make that top twelve and you know get in the playoffs and win the SEC championship is you know what we've been um, setting our goal on is win the SEC East. Um, and then, you know, after that, we'll see where it goes. So I think that's been my main goal. And, uh, you know, just continuing to work every day at practice, um, spring practice, extra film sessions with the guys, I think is going to play, a, you know, a huge role in, in our season. So, you know, just continue to do what we've been doing will we'll help us get there. I think you're naturally a quiet guy. Lead more by actions than necessarily like getting somebody's, you know, yeah. you know, rear. Um but do you find yourself being a little more vocal now? I think so. Yeah. I think, you know, as as the guy, you've got to be more vocal with with your guys and you know, be able to communicate with them um at a high level. And uh yeah, I think, you know, over this spring, um that's been my main goal is, you know, to be more vocal for the guys when I need to be. And, um, yeah, I think, you know, I can still improve on that and, you know, keep working on that this spring and carry that over to the fall. Well, we appreciate the time, man. And uh, yes, sir. I know Tennessee fans are rooting hard for you. Yep. And uh, they want to see that number eight. Yes, sir. You know, maybe we can get you to do the acknowledge. You know, oh, yeah. One yeah, time. for sure. Probably I, I think about it. You, you just gave me a good idea, so we'll see. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Nico, man, we appreciate yes, the time, buddy. Appreciate you.